Hey guys, Fleet Fast here. Today we're going to be looking at the Punic class supercarrier for the UNSC. This is the largest and most powerful ship for the UNSC, bristling with weapons and so massive that it takes up three bases. But is this the best thing to buy after the starter set? Looking at the stats, we can see that a single Punic costs 675 points, which means that it must be an incredibly valuable element, and it certainly is. Each section is incredibly tough, with a high damage track and a plethora of defence systems, including the ability to potentially remove a vulnerable token instantly. We can also see it has a large number of boarding craft and hangars, which, coupled with the ability to repair frigates, allows the Punic to fill a supportive role. Only being able to move 6 inches with a hard burn of 1 inch makes the Punic pretty slow by UNSC standards, but is complemented by two Supermax, both adding up to 20 dice at max 6, giving the Punic the ability to hang back and snipe the enemy fleet. The midsection features a unique set of mini Mac batteries, which are perfectly capable of damaging small ships on either side of the Punic. The majority of the firepower can be found in the missile batteries in the mid and rear sections of the ship, which can be combined to create a pool of 25 dice, more than enough to damage any ship. Overall I'd say the Punic probably has better weapons than the CAS, as they are more suited to a massive element. We don't get any weird firing arcs, like out of the back for instance, nor do we have any super short range weapons like a beam. The Punic's main disadvantage is no one stat, but rather its overall importance to whoever is using it. it. It becomes a priority target for the opposition very quickly. It usually loses the front section to concentrated firepower at about turn 1. This puts the UNSC at a massive disadvantage, as now they've essentially got this big lump of wasted points that has to slowly limp towards the enemy with reduced firepower rating as the rest of your fleet gets swarmed. This happens a lot and is difficult to counter in small games. What I like to do is field several frigate specialist groups in order to maintain a high number of elements in play. Having the Punic in the back sniping the enemy, I send the frigates to hunt down and eliminate the damaged ships. This also draws fire away from the Punic and to less important elements. Once you start to get closer, I'd advise turning it slightly to target enemy ships with the side weapons, delivering a devastating final attack in some cases. So, in conclusion, is the Punic the ideal follow-up to the starter set? I wouldn't say so, personally. Like the CAS, you'll get the most use out of it in games of about 2,500 points and above, where the Punic isn't taking up most of your fleet and is a bit more disposable. I do think it's better value for points than the CAS, but is nonetheless still too expensive. Personally, I'd recommend buying either the Orions or the Valiants instead of the Punic after you get your starter set, as those ships are suitable for nearly every game size and are interesting counterparts to the ships in the starter set. So comment below what you'd like me to review next. Share this video if you enjoyed it and leave a like. Until next time.